Hello, my name is Green, and welcome to possibly the dullest start to a hermit craft you will ever, ever encounter. Because what I've been doing is not fun, it's not entertaining, but I'm going to take you through it anyway, because it's important. What I've got here are my shulker boxes that I have crafted. That's right, I spent pretty much an entire afternoon, hours and hours, crafting stuff up for Sahara. So I've delivered bone blocks, I've got iron blocks, and then this is the chest that singularly took hours. Redstone comparators, repeaters, and observers. All of this stuff is going to be sold at Sahara, and it is just about ready for delivery. Boy oh boy, not very exciting I'm afraid. Now we don't really have a loading area, so what I'm gonna do is just pop all of this stuff down straight on here. Now that might be probably the most boring start to an episode, but this is a pretty big deal because all of these represent huge amounts of diamonds for us as a shop. But all of that stock means absolutely nothing if nobody wants to shop at Sahara. So I have a few ideas on how to get people shopping at Sahara. So hopefully we can get this place stocked up but first, I think what we should do is a, a little bit of marketing for the shop itself. This pig represents exactly how I felt trying to craft everything. It drove me a bit insane. One of the things that I did in my last marketing campaign was a bit of a tester, and I did a leaflet drop. Now we're gonna do that again, but we're gonna try and get as many hermits as we can <laughs> and see if this works at all. I know exactly where my paper ended up, so I won't even have to craft them all again! Woo! Don't worry guys, I'm a professional Minecrafter. I believe we are in Iskow's base, it is right here. These are all the ones that I dropped on Stress Monster, so all I'm gonna do is take these back and we can get Ren and Scar today. So that's definitely what we're gonna do. Okay, so what we need to do is get rid of all of our items, literally everything we do not need. I am currently stocked up with paper and I actually forgot some of these. These are actually pretty funny. A coupon for one sale at Sahara. One sale is one smile. <laughs> and then I get increasingly desperate. Please, paper's something to do with Sahara. <laughs> Completely forgot about these. Sahara needs customers. I think that one's my favorite. Coupon for one sale at Sahara. I need to show you guys something though. It's something I discovered when I was messing around the other day. If you drink a potion of slow falling while you're flying, you guys might know this, but you pretty much just fly really slowly. But if you get it just right, you basically stop like like <laughs> I froze it in midair. <laughs> I had <laughs> It looks like the game is completely frozen. I didn't even mean to do it like this. This is an accident. If I look down, I do start falling. But look, that's the thing. It's quite hard to do. You have to twist yourself around at just the right angle to stop yourself completely like that. And then you just fall very, very slowly. So what I thought we could do for a start is go and find some of our fellow hermits. Well, I say fellow hermits. There's only Scar and Ren on at the moment. So we need to go and find them. Ah, Scar is in Cherry at the moment. Looks like he's doing some restocking. Oh my goodness, if if I can do this correctly, if I can just fly in really, really well, I might be able to freeze just in the right spot. <laughs> he's not looking! Look! Look, Scar! <laughs> I don't know a way. <laughs> he was so confused. And now we've got his attention. We need to do the drop. Oh no. Oh no. It didn't work. Oh, okay. I've got, I've only got two hearts left. Now we can do the leaflet drop. I need to not miss. So hold on. Let's go into first person. Here we go. Whew. Right. Where is he? He's around. There we go. Shop at Sahara. <laughs> There we go, there's one leaflet drop done. I've lost my slow falling effect. So now, we need to load up again. There's one that says we aren't even open yet, but we definitely are. 
So, I've, I've actually out of elytra, so I've got to use another one. I can just use a, a spare one that I've got. But this, this will run out very quickly indeed. Okay, so now we're on the hunt for Rendog. And we're definitely going to do the potion of slow falling again. Oh, there he is, there he is. He's at his dojo. So, he should just see me flying around. If I try and get his attention, this slow falling potion isn't going to last forever. And I've totally lost Ren. How is that even possible? There he is. There he is. He's flying. He's flying. He's flying. Right. So now we need to get his attention in the same way. I've only got nine rockets left, so got to be careful. And then... Yes! <laughs> Nailed it. Now, the problem with this is that I can't actually look down. I don't think he's seen. He's not even here. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, he's there. He's seen me. <laughs> Right, he's seen me. I've got. I'm gonna get his attention now. Now this is falling in style. But where is Ren? He's there. <laughs> right now he's. Now we've got his undivided attention. So if I get this right, just go up in two, one, and now we got it. Shobatara! <laughs> yes, nailed it. <laughs> this is the best leaflet campaign that has ever been made, and it costs a, a, a lot, a lot of elytras in order to do this. I hope that they actually return these. <laughs> Green, are you okay, my dude? <laughs> I was falling, and you know what got me back up? Shopping at Sahara. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. I am gonna go and, uh, I, I am gonna need to go and get my stuff back though. I totally forgot. I needed to show you guys this. I've got three stacks of diamonds, and then even more than that, I've got more than three and a half stacks of diamonds. I was running seriously low on funds. And the reason that I now have this many diamonds is because I managed to sell another Did You Die box. I upgraded these to um, all god armor, and I managed to sell the best one for three stacks of diamonds. Brilliant. I filled up my inventory with some more promotional materials, and the only person online is XI Zoom R. So we're gonna go and find him and see if we can give him some reasons to shop at Sahara. There he is at his farm. Oh, oh. Now, how do you get down there? So where is he? He's right there. Aha! We're in some sort of abandoned mine shaft here. Hold on, let's just uh, break in. Oh, he's AFK. Oh, he's not even here. Well, there's no need to do a, a, a proper leaflet drop here. He hasn't even got... Is this all his stuff? He hasn't even... Oh, well, well. This just makes it all the easier. All we gotta do is throw all of the pamphlets down. And there they all go. Now when he logs back in, he's gonna find himself full of some promotional material. That was the easiest leaflet drop I've ever done. So now that I've done the leaflet campaign, I need to move on to my next marketing scheme. And that is actually to make an advert for Sahara. We need some premium ad space, but we don't actually have anything filmed to do it. The issue is I can't do this by myself. I actually need an actor. So I have asked Ren the dog to help me out with that. So I'm gonna go meet up with him now and discuss this advert that we need to create. What on earth are you doing? Hey, G, I'm training. In my training. Dojo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what I need your help with that I discussed earlier is I uh -huh. want to make an advert for Sahara because, you know, we need more customers. We haven't actually had that many, but I'm thinking mm -hmm. a good marketing campaign and it will all go uh, through the roof. So, but I can't actually make it by myself. So I actually need an actor. Right. And I mean, your sunglasses and suspenders tells me everything I need to know about your acting skills. Yep, yep, A-class actor right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm thinking, if you help me make this uh, commercial or this advert, then I can pay you at the end and then Ooh. hopefully get some sales at Sahara. What do you think? Uh, that sounds like a plan. I'm gonna make some diamonds. Yeah, let's Sweet. do this, baby. So I got, I got, a, I got a script right here for you. Oh, so these okay. Are, they're your lines. Yeah. Right. Um, that that's your bread and butter. You know what you know what to do with that. Yeah, yeah. Can I get a moment to rehearse really uh -huh. quickly? That's yeah. okay. Cool. I mean, it just says script on the piece of paper, though. <laughs> 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 All right, let's make this. Let's make this thing. Okay, let's do it. 
So Ren and I did actually spend an hour making an advert, or a commercial if you're from the States, so watch this. Hmm, man, this is expensive. I wish there was a shop that did this all for me at a competitive price. There is! You gonna pay for that, dude? No. You should check out Sahara. It's a new shop that does everything for you. Hmm. It sounds too good to be true. Why should I believe you? You don't have to. Just take it from one of our customers. You know, heroes need exciting products too. Where do you think I get all my eggs from? Sahara. Um, Sahara doesn't sell eggs. Exactly. Because I bought them all. But it didn't even... How did you... Poultry man out. Remember, we speak nothing but the truth. Shop at Sahara, and you will live for a thousand years. Alright, sweet, I'll check it out. Terms and conditions apply, you will probably not live for a thousand years. Green, welcome back to the dojo. Looks like you've stolen Mumbo's suit. Uh, <laughs> What's up with that? Uh, don't eat... Well, <laughs> Mumbo is now running around in his underwear. I'm just borrowing <laughs> his suit, okay? My uh -huh. one's in uh, the dry cleaners, so... Just borrowing Mumbo's suit doesn't fit. You know, he's much more muscly than. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't 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 tell him I've been wearing his clothes, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, that that came out really really good, and then, yeah. now I just need to distribute mm. that. But yeah, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you so much, Ren. That was. Really no, cool. I mean that was super fun. This script, useless, but. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I had a great time. It was awesome. Uh, however, that was quite a lot of work, you know. I, I could have been training for the afternoon and instead I made an advert, so <clears throat> cough up, my dude. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. You owe me some payment. Uh, you owe me some payment. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. That's all yeah. sorted. Uh, there you go. There's one right here for you. There you uh, go. Right, I'll be off then. Um, Good day. That does, that does not shine. Right. Green! Goodbye. Come back here, dude. Shop at Sahara! You know, I think I might just wear Mumbo's clothes for the rest of the episode. I feel really swish, and I, I've got to say, this is probably the only way. Do you think people will take me more seriously if I wear a suit? They got to, right? They t I mean, people don't take Mumbo seriously. Dang, Nabbit. Either way, I wanted to show you guys my new potato, because I have got my villagers back, thankfully, after the Entity Purge, and they have started farming carrots again. The only problem is... It's now about 50 times slower than it used to be. So they may be farming away, but only during the working hours of the day, and only when they feel like it. And I've got to say, it hasn't been great. I've got two stacks of carrots, which is pretty bad. Especially when you look at this. This is the slowest farm that I had before. This would fill up way quicker than this. So you can see just the comparison of pumpkins to carrot ratio is it's not great. So what I have done, and I've spent a little bit of time doing, I'm definitely trying to fly without putting my elytra on. How are people gonna take me seriously if I if I don't play this game like Mumbo Jumbo? If I'm gonna if I'm gonna wear Mumbo's clothes, then I've got to at least act like Mumbo. A little bit, right? I've already failed because this is a manual farm. <laughs> so what I am gonna do here is I'm gonna make this is a temporary farm. It's it's quite big, actually. This will provide me with many, many carrots, and I've just hidden it right next to Sahara. The idea being that loads of people that work here, whether it's me, Iscout, or Mumbo, will all be about, and then the carrots will be uh, growing while people are working. This may take a little while, especially as I don't actually have enough carrots to start this whole thing off. All I'll have to do is come and harvest it every now and again and replant it, so it's only a few minutes' work. And I expect that this will produce a lot more carrots than my automatic farm will, seeing as automatic potato and carrot farmers just don't seem to work very fast. I've got to admit, this isn't the funnest thing that I've done all day. And I'm afraid that's me out of carrots. Seeing as that was quite a lot of stacks, this is going to produce more than enough carrots for the golden carrots for Sahara. It was a bit of a boring task, but to be honest with you, it kind of had to be done. Either way, that squared away, now we can go back to Hermitville, where I really, really need to finish working on my house. I wish there was a better way back to Hermitville, because at the moment, we have to fly up here, fly 
through this long tunnel. Maybe there is a better way and I just don't know about it. But you have to fly all the way through here, which is a really long way. Turn right when you hit the ice. And then you can either follow it down there or fly through the nether here. Fly up here and then into the portal. It's a really quite a long way to travel between the two. It's actually been a while since I've visited Hermitville, so I'm curious to see what damage has been done. Does my house... Nope, my house seems to be A-OK. -okay. Oh! <laughs> uh, my house might be OK, but it looks like... Looks like the big plant thing... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what to say. It looks like Scar... Oh, okay, right. So let me digest this for a second. What we did in our last episode was we built our house taller and we reflected the laser beam, which then Iskal reflected over back at the plant, which knocked off its eyeball, which ended up down there. And it's still there, so it's clearly grown back its eyeball. So now... Somehow, because Scar, you've turned into a wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard, Scar. I, my Hagrid impression isn't the best, okay? But it's a wizard. The plant is a wizard now. It's got a giant hat. It's got glasses on. And it's used a spell to stop the laser beam in its tracks. Well, that's kind of good because if he didn't, the laser beam would have probably continued forever. But now, I believe, yeah, that, that's probably higher, isn't it? The top of this hat is now taller than my... Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, we got to do some number crunching. This is 219. Yeah, it's, it's, it's three blocks taller. It's three blocks taller. Oh, man, that really sucks. Scar, you've outdone me again, but not for much longer. Okay, so here's the plan, guys. For this episode, I don't actually have enough time to retaliate to this, and I need to think of how I'm going to do my idea. I have probably the most insane idea that I've ever come up with for this build-off thing, okay? It's, it's really gonna... Well, let's just say it's gonna contest this for sure. The only thing is, I don't have enough time to do it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time finishing off the decoration for this part of the house because it's still a bit plain and it needs doing. Meaning, I'm going to let Scar have the tallest build just for an episode. But you wait. In the next episode, right at the start, we're going to do something that nobody is expecting, I promise. But for now, let's, yeah, let's just fix this up a little bit. Now, we haven't actually got that much work to do, seeing as last time I only had to build up the house a little bit. And I'm not actually going to be working on anything extra for the build. We're going to save that for the next episode. But what I will need to do is add some windows in. It only takes about a minute for us to do this time lapse or for you to see this time lapse. But for me building it, it takes like 25 minutes and I only did a slight amount of detailing. It's kind of interesting, so you kind of take for granted when you see time lapses like this just how long they take. And then I've got to do all the camera work afterwards. It's just, yeah, time consuming. However, I really do enjoy them. I really, really do enjoy them. And as for the detailing, I've got to say, it's fairly simple. You add a few windows here or there, you add a couple of trap doors either side, and then you add some plants. It's, yeah, I mean, at this point, I've detailed so many of these windows. It's just second nature. Well, it wasn't exactly a long time lapse, but we got what we needed to do done. It is now full of flowers and windows, but you're probably wondering what is my plan for the next episode, and I'm not going to tell you. I'm really not going to tell you, but what I will say is that this is probably the last time that it's going to look like a really tall fantasy house from some sort of novel. It's just not going to look like this after I've finished in the next episode. I don't know whether what I'm going to do is going to look good, but soak it in everybody because this is the last time the house will definitely look like this. In fact, I may even ask if I can take a copy of this because 
I'm actually really, really proud of how this particular build has come out. I would rate this in not one of my best or high quality builds, but one of my funnest builds. It's just really quirky and for some reason it just works. It may look a little bit dull in comparison to the giant plant that's casting a spell, but it's mine and I'm rather attached to it. I really am. And I'm going to really regret, probably, doing what I'm going to do to this this poor, wonderful house that I've spent many an hour building over time. But if Scar is going to pull out a Vex Feather Wand on me, well, I'm going to have to pull out the big guns. So, take it in. Everything's about to change. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!